I wasn't hired by Steve Allen. I was hired by NBC. Uh, the Steve Allen show had been on for four weeks on Sunday night. Uh, he had brought the late night show format to Sunday night in prime time. It wasn't working. Um, uh, and uh, he only had Louis Nye there. He had two great writers in Herb and uh, Sergeant Stan Burns, and of course Steve's uh, wit and unique personality. But the show wasn't happening. So I was hired by NBC to change the show, to make it work. And I said, how long do I have? And they were surprised by the question. They said, till the end of the season. And this was November. The end of the season was in June. You realize today that would, I've never gotten that job because the Steve Allen show would have been canceled or I would have had eight minutes to change it. Well, with that much time, I, I knew what I wanted to do, uh, and that was to add cast members and, and, uh, and, and uh, um, develop additional writers who felt, uh, as I did, about comedy. And that meant searching for them, seeing shows, trying to recognize uh, their abilities, uh, despite the formats. So what was your title on the show? I was head writer and director of comedy. So who were some of those people that you hired? Uh, well, first, uh, the performers. Uh, we got Don Knotts, Tom Poston, Bill Dana, Tim Conway, uh, Dayton Allen. Um, uh, not one upon the other. We found Tom and uh, Don. So we had Tom, Louie, and Don originally and added Pat Harrington. And writing, um, uh, I, my wife saw a show she thought was especially well written, a, a General Motors special, and uh, it was head, head writer was Jess Oppenheim, but the two writers who worked for him were Arnie Sultan and Marvin Wirth, and I called Jess, and he said, by all means, hire them. Jeff was incidentally responsible for my getting the Steve Allen show. And um, so I hired them. Then Larry Klein and Hal Goodman became available. We added them. And then B Bill Dana was on the late night show. And he was, I sense, very gifted and I liked him. And I had read the material of a writer in the NBC development program, Don Hinckley. And I put them together. And uh, we had our writing staff. Uh, you asked earlier about how does Steve react to me. I came in, I was very greatly concerned that we have rapport because I assumed that my reputation, the, rep, the reputation that would precede me was that I was a hatchet man. Whenever there's a uh, placement, you're going to get rid of everybody, and that wasn't my intention. I just uh, wanted, as I indicated, to develop the show along the lines of the old Gabe Dell Norman Avid uh, comedy, because the show was had a kinship to it, Herb and Stan. Steve met with me and he said, I know you've done uh, Bilko and you've done The Honeymooners, but what experience you had in variety shows? And I said, I'm going to tell you a long story. And I told him the story of developing the act for Gabe and Norman, hiring Stan and Herb, and that he had seen them. So he was immeasurably relieved. And then he was very cooperative because we had a long haul. 